to kick off. Uh, at this point I will let you start and uh, um, have the first activation. Oh, that's very kind of you, thank you. Um, okay. So I will activate Vesper first, who will spend her free energy harvesting this moonstone. All right. And she will do a job. Two inches. She can uh, as well be pulled by Gwendolyn at any chance. Sorry? Um, when is going to be a Gwendolyn activation? Gwendolyn can pull uh, Vespa down if you wanted to. Okay. From the cliff. That's good to know. Yeah. I was intending to pull her, but I didn't know if she would come down. But that's, that's good to know. Thanks. Okay. I assume you didn't receive yet your uh, Kickstarter, did you? No, I mean, I've got the dice, I've got the Dominion tokens. Ah, I see. It's I see. Gonna be, I'm in Switzerland. I'm literally going to be the last person to receive them, I think. But that's fine. I got greedy. I ordered everything. Uh, you did well, if you side. ask me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to activate Dragon. I'm going to jog Yeah, over here. Base to base, ideally with the stone. Any reaction? No. Okay. Reducing the stone down to a two with a one energy. And uh, spending the last two energies declaring uh, Verdant Growth, but I don't see any more where it could be. The decks and the rest. Okay, let me grab it quickly. It just went away somehow. Um, ah. Here it is. A fresh one. And along with that, melee deck and arcane deck. Shuffle, picking up six, looking for green. Okay. Uh, is a green tree. Okay. Shuffling wood patch just over here. And it's over to you. All right. I will do Gwendolyn next. I'm thinking I'm going to do a change of plan and do Scry. Hmm. Interesting choice. For some reason. Um, I'll go and... I'm making a lot of interesting choices tonight. Yes, <laughs> I mean, this is an interesting choice on its own already. Okay. Uh, let me grab a bag for you, where you're gonna store your card. Here it is. Thank you. I'll shuffle, I'll take one. And it's mine. Yep. Totally yours. For now, anyway. And then she'll do her jog. Okay. Um, four inches here. And she'll sit on her last energy. Okay. Uh, I will activate Klaus. Jogging two inches over there and a further two inches over there. Any reaction? No. Okay. Taking two steps. Oh, too much. 
and resting on Malastanich. Over to you. Alright. Um, let me think. Wasp will go next. So he'll do a step. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're going to put him in the pick. And then I'm using this cool energy. He will do his job. Oh, just put in there. Um, oh, yeah, possibly there. No, 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 no. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, it should be fine now. One and two. I think it's just the contours in the in the land. Isn't it? Oh, no, no, th there was a plant on the on the on the mat that I removed. Okay. So I'll do a step as well. Okay, I'm gonna take a step in that direction. That leaves me with three energy, I believe. Uh, you took a step, mm -hmm. a jog, and another step. So, yes. So, I think I will do a rage on. Oh, she's not a weakling, she's a feeble. So, that's not a good choice. And I think Diana's probably out of range. See, so maybe. She might be just out. Let me just check. Yeah, it's point one. Okay, so I'll do another step. Um, if you want, you can just move Wasp a little bit back if you want to be in range of Diana. It's, it's fine. I mean,. It's all right. I'll, I'll I'll stick to this. I'm kind of making some crazy choices today. I don't really know what I'm doing, so okay. I'm just gonna. <laughs> so he's not quite in touch with the moonstone. He's got two energy left. Yeah, he's not yet because I didn't hear any plink from the touch with the stone itself. Ah, you have a plink, do you? No, no, no. When uh, you touch uh, any of the dice, they usually make a, a distinctive sound. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay, I'll do one more step just to come up here. Uh, I do want to touch the minister yeah. now, so let me. There we go. Did you get a fling? Uh, not, but uh, it's fine. I mean, we can. Ah, now I hear it. I don't know if you hear it as well. It's like uh, um, the two object collides, and there is this sound. Uh, um, um, in the between of plastic or uh, and glass, I don't know how to explain that better, but it, okay. it really gives you the feeling that the miniature is touching, overlapping, or going over the dice. Okay, I didn't know that. Anyway, I'm going to rest on my last energy, so it's back to you. Okay, over to me. Um, activating Daniel. Jogging up uh, 3.5, a tiny bit more, in order to reach the stone. Uh, any reaction? Um, no. Okay. Spending one, picking up the stone. And if no react, if no further reaction, I will spend two and plant the placard. Uh, okay. That means. Regan will move behind there. Uh, Kalista will move up here. And Lubbard will start moving up this direction. And for Klaus, we're going to have him moving over here. And it's back to you. I'll do a reaction with Gwendolyn. Mm -hmm. 
Just move that. One inch. This way. Mm -hmm. And that leaves me with Ayama and Ayama. So do Diana first. She can do her four inch jog here. Just touch in. To spend her full energy harvesting this down to a one. Mm -hmm. And back to you. Uh, back to me, I have left only Lubard and uh, Kalista, I guess. Yes. Okay. Lubert will activate. Uh, I don't think so I can pass through there, even if I want to, because I'm a big, uh, an happy guy. So I need to double check where I can go. That is going to be two inches over there. Okay, even a bit more. And from there, let's see if I can go through. How many is gonna be there? Another three, basically. So it doesn't make much of a sense to get that way. Um, mm -mm -mm. Gonna take two steps. Mm -hmm. Any reaction? No. Okay. And then I'm gonna jog up three over there. And it's over to you. Okay. Last I got Freya, mm -hmm. she will do a step mm -hmm. and down. If she just clears it, yeah. And then she'll do a four inch jog. Yeah, man. Right here, two point five. Not touching it. To spend two energy harvesting. Mm -hmm. Any reaction so far? Uh, she keep no, going. She can keep going. Okay. What do we have next? I don't think I have much as I can do within six inches. With her. So she has three energy left. She will do. Two steps up here, and she'll sit on her last energy. Okay. Uh, over to me. Kalista will activate. Mm -hmm. Reduce the stone down to a one. Mm -hmm. If you want, you have. Oh, I just need to do some reactions here, don't I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me move what as well. There we go. And then she's gonna jog uh, two inches over here. Any reaction? Actually, not exactly over there because, yeah, I need for her to be there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll do a step. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna reduce this stone down to a one. And that's it. Okay. Turn one. It was quick. Um, let's see. Daniel will give his energy to Reagan. Okay. To Reagan. Okay. I rolled a four. I roll a five. Plus two is gonna be seven. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, what to do? Mm. I have no idea. Oh, no, me honestly. neither. At this point. <laughs> Activating oh. Regan. I'm gonna jog in base to base contact with the stone, basically. If you want, you can react. Okay, sure. Uh, I don't have a reaction, if that's what you're asking me. Yeah. Sorry, you broke up a bit. That's okay. Uh, as I say, I'm double checking the connection and everything this evening. Uh, and then, spending three, I'm gonna declare. Uh, Malachi treat while on Lubart. Mm -hmm. Cards looking for green. I got a green two. A green two. Green two. That's going to give him two energy. Yeah, yeah. Do I remember. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Resetting, shuffling. No better than to call the bluff or Malachite ritual. It's alright. Uh, and it's gonna be up to four. And. Uh, Reagan will remain on her last energy. Over to you. Diana can't stand for that, honestly, can she? She's probably going to die in the process. But she does need to try and drain some energy here. So, six inches. Thank you. Like I'm just far enough that you can't sneak any reaction step away. I think that'll probably do. 3.3. Oh, maybe I need to come a tiny bit further. You can't. You could squeeze a little bit between those two. Let's come a tiny bit further. There you go. I'm done. Any reaction? It's a tough one now. Uh, mm, no, no reaction. Okay, well, you know what's coming next. Feed on fear mm -hmm. on Ubad. Mm -hmm. So I'll take six cards. Mm -hmm. I think I will just go with the straight six. Oh, you're going to hate me so much if you don't already. Um, maybe Diana. If you'll allow me to show it, I have a pink three. Okay, you can have it. Thank you. So I will give one back to myself. Um, do I want to give it to Freya? And she's not in range. Oh, yeah. I keep thinking it's from Diana. From... Okay, well, she's going to have to take all of it then, um, mm -hmm. Diana. Three horrifying visions <laughs> coming up. Um, There's so many here that it hardly seems worthwhile, but anyway, everyone's going to start somewhere. So, horrifying vision number one on Lubard. Mm -hmm. okay, six cards again. I 
we have a pink one. I'm gonna say okay to that. So you broke up. Um, I'm gonna say okay to that. I'm gonna suffer two damages. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, going to do it again. Um, targeting loop out again, I think. Okay. Cards. Okay. Two, three. No. I have uh, another pink one. I'm gonna say okay. Okay. Reset. And I think I will take one step backwards now. Fair enough. And I'll sit on my last energy. Not quite as devastating as I hope, but at least I drained you with some energy, so it could have been nice. Back to you. Okay. I will then activate Daniel. Jog up one inch over there. Any reaction? Mm -hmm. No. I'm planting my placard. Not this <laughs> one. This is not what I'm looking for. What for? They've rewritten the card since my last book to it. <laughs> it seems like I'm gonna block it just to be sure. And uh, actually, Klaus is gonna be just a tiny bit back. I'm gonna have to play Daniel again sometime soon. He's so good. He's in ages as I played as him. Um, whenever you want to do so, I will probably play phones as the list that uh, it is gonna rely on him the, the least, if it makes sense. Um, yeah, I might do a Commonwealth list next time. I have to think whether it's gnomes, humans, or giants, or a mixture, and just to change things a bit. Mm -hmm. And Calista as well is gonna be moved one inch over here. So we'll take, uh, and it's over to you. Okay. Then uh, we remain on his last energy. Um. Okay, we'll do. Let me think this through. Yes, then. So she can jog to the end. If I just copy her, I just want to see if she will actually fit down the bottom without me needing to move Gwendolyn first. Ah, oh, easy, I think. Yeah. So I'll do the jog here. And then obviously I want to step down so I'm touching the corner of the moonstone. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll spend the other, so I'll get rid of this one. And I'll spend the other two energy harvesting the, the stone. moonstone. Yep. Yeah. And back to you. Back to me. What 
to do what to do um, activating Kalista spending 3 declaring Leshavit Kares on Lubart 5 cards looking for pink okay. I got a pink one okay sure And she then gonna jog. There. And it's over to you. So I should have asked this at the beginning. These so the tree you said about the base, yeah. then there's this kind of rock and wood here. Uh, yeah, consider is only the gap between the two. Or, oh, no, 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 consider all... only the rock here. If you click with the right oh. hand and the button of your mouse, you will see what you can uh, get easily and not. For the tree, I can get the, the okay, wood. So, this is just yeah, decoration, the texture. Then. yeah, texture. Okay. Sorry, okay, all right. It's good to know. I prefer to have some texture on the table rather than have a flat mat. I mean, on TTS yeah. at least. Fair enough. So. Really, what I want to do, but I think I'm gonna have to do that. Mm -hmm. No, okay, so Freya is gonna go next. She's gonna have to do a step to get in contact with the Moonstone because she didn't quite make it last time. Just spend two energy harvesting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave her with two. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone's in range. Right. So she will do her two inch jog back here. As well, one step. There we go, and she'll sit in her last energy. Okay, over to me. Here we go. <laughs> Not entirely sure if that is gonna be what I want to do, really, because I have only one attack, and mm. I think you should use him to harvest this moonstone. That's absolutely the best use for a blue bud. I I would if I just my advice. That's all. Yeah, I can see where your advice is come from. I really appreciate that. <laughs> and, 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 and. 
Yeah, let's try this way. Uh, jogging up. Oop, four inches over there. Any reaction? No point, you're in base to Okay, spending the only energy I have. And try. So you, you broke up again, so what do you say? Uh, spending the only energy I have and trying attacking Diana. I will go with five okay. cards. Mm, you are on this side, so I'm gonna put them. Uh, but yeah, over there. So you can see them. I got two raising attack, I got low card and sweeping cut. Did you now? Hmm. Just hold me a minute. Take your time. Hmm. I think I will do this. Okay. I have to go with the sweeping cut because my chances at the moment are very feeble indeed. So yes. Uh that is gonna kill um Diana. Yeah, because you got two plus two fewer impact. Plus one few end step. Yeah. Uh, plus, uh, it's gonna be two wounds on the end step effect. Oh, plus two for the end step. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lose that. And I will deal one, I think, to you. Uh, it's gonna be three by default uh, on a full oh. wing, but she is weakling, so it's gonna be only two. But I have my protection, okay. so at the end of the day, I just lose my protection. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, I had that. A sweeping card, so I could have done her signature, but I was worried about those two rising attacks, actually. And then I had two thrusts, which were obviously going to be completely useless. Mm, yeah, totally. I mean, <laughs> my what, my biggest worry, it was for you to having the phony swing that you had, or a low guard. And if I wanted to go with a raising attack, either of them would put me in the... Um, in the worst position possible because with a low guard you can counter me and go again or with a phony swing yeah. you can deal any way more damage that I can deal to you but you know what I, sh I completely forgot that I had saved up an energy to go for it which actually may have given me one of the cards one of the guards but I completely forgot about that <laughs> oh well uh, so Diana is dead and Kalista will get one energy out of it. Okay. Can't believe I forgot to go for it. That is a classic fairy tactic. And I didn't do it. I'm definitely playing out, out of the ordinary tonight. <laughs> You're still leading with four stone at the moment and we are not even at the end of turn two. So everything could be. Yeah, but you got Daniel, you can teleport people all over the place. Uh, in order to do that, I need uh, Reagan to give him one energy. And then the only people that I can move around are two healers 
and Klaus that is gonna be possibly uh, not the best to if he's gonna be away from the rest of the troop anyway. Fair. Fair. Okay, so it's my go, I guess, yeah? yeah? Over to you. So I have Wasp and Gwendolyn to go, and I've got a step left with Freya. I think I might do the reaction step with Freya before I forget it. Um, away from the giant. Like a proper fairy running away. Okay. Right, Gwendolyn. We still got Klaus to move. And Wasp. Wasp and target Lubard. I guess he's going to be a minus two for his javelin. At uh, the moment, yes, the middle of the base yeah. is uh, passing over the barrier. Um, if you're gonna get within one inch from the barrier, then you can ignore it. Same as always. Yeah. And then Gwendolyn. Gonna pull people close to her. This is the problem I have with Gwendolyn, honestly. Why would you want to pull people closer to you? <laughs> when you're a weakling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or feeble, actually. Um, let me see. I guess you can do friendly models as well. Just oh, he's a target enemy. all the time, so she can lure whoever she wanted to. So, honestly, I think I just have to run for it. I'm just worried about this teleportation thing, but I just have to run for it. Four inch jog with Gwendolyn. Mm -hmm. Taking a step with Reagan. A step with Gwendolyn. And a step with Kalista. Over here. Another step with Gwendolyn. And then, how she? How come she got six energy? She should have three left. Um, and then she'll do the ethereal allure on Vesper. Mm -hmm. So I will take five cards. Mm -hmm. You go pink. I have a pink too. I'm gonna say okay to that. Okay, so that will move on four uh, towards, which I think we're gonna put her in base to base, because that's 3.1. I'm never happy now. There we go. She's set, and it's back to you. <sighs> okay, back to me. What to do, what to do.
do it in clones. I'm gonna jog. Four, if I can, four inches over there. Any reaction? At the moment, we are 2.7 away. You have three energy still, yeah? Yeah. And the wasp just, oh, he hasn't activated. Nope. Um, so, so you, um, yeah. Step away. Okay. And then it's going to take a step over there. Any reaction? As long as you're more than two inches away, no. Okay, and then it's over to you. Okay. She's more than seven, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was looking for something I like that. that earlier. <laughs> so, um, Wasp is going to chuck his jag javelin mm -hmm. at um, Klaus. Uh, so, I think I have three cards. I'm gonna go with six. I'll be green two. I'm gonna say okay to that. That's the protection. Mm -hmm. Taking a step. Over here. Ah, oh, he's on the base. I have to move out of the base, sorry. You done? Uh, you, you want to be within two? No, 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 no. Just outside? Just outside. And who have you got left to activate now? Uh, no one. Uh, no one. I think I might go in then. Do it. His jog. And if I'm up here, and he's going to attack. Uh, prior to that, I'm going to take one reaction step away. Okay, so I did that then. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I will chuck the javelin at you instead then. <laughs> right, so I'll take three cards again. Mm -hmm. I'll go with six myself. And I am going to decline to go. Reset. It will allow me. There we go. Oh, there's the And that's the end of the turn, yeah? Indeed. Klaus has got this protection back. But this get plus one energy. Uh, turn three. Are we giving it to King Lubard? Uh, yes, the Lubard got the okay. plus one energy thanks to Daniel. Okay. Roll a five. 
six. I've also got a six. Okay. We're gonna re-roll. And a six again. And I roll a five and a six again. <laughs> okay. Four. And two plus one, three. I deserve to win that roll off, honestly. Two natural sixes. Um, I think I would probably like to go first. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is a different question. So, is there blockage? I think there's a minus one, isn't there, for player to target Klaus? If it will pop. Oh, uh, so yes. So she will just, she will go for that with four cards. Mm hmm She has a... Um, I'm not going to risk it. She has a nothing. <laughs> almost, I almost went for the bluff then. <laughs> I was expecting I was something. Absolutely sure you were. Absolutely sure you would call it a bluff. So mm. I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> you really do. Right. <laughs> so she's just going to do it. Actually, she's going to do two inch jog. Mm -hmm. And three steps, if she wanted to. And I'm just going to do one step for the moment. Fair uh, enough. Just in case you manage to teleport. Mm -hmm. So, back to you. And obviously, I'm going to activate Regan, spending three, and declaring Malachi three twelve on Daniel, with uh, six right. cards, looking for green. I got a okay. uh, green one. I think you probably do, but I'm still going to say bluff. Daniel will get one energy. And after that, I will target uh, Daniel once again, and uh, I'm going to say green one. I will say OK this time. Daniel is then up to five, and after that, I'm gonna jog back here. And it's almost over to you, if I'm gonna be able to jog up there, yeah. And it's over to you. Mm. Gwendolyn will do her job. Mm -hmm. And she will try and cast Ethereal Allure on Esper. Mm -hmm. 
Making five counts. Pink three. I'm going to say okay to that. That's pretty much all that. Spot on, actually. Okay. There's two energy left. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it to get out of the way, I think. Uh, one step. Maybe she can be useful. Still, who knows? Two steps there. All right. And back to you. And obviously, I'm going to activate um, Kalista, spending three and declaring Lesherit Caress on Lubart. Five cards. But I don't have anything, so I will simply pass. And after that, I will jog up three. Uh, not that much. Three is going to be enough. I need to be within four from Danny. Yeah, but one more. And four. And it's over to you. Ooh. So Vesper will do her two inch jog. And then she's going to step off the board. Mm -hmm. Huge waste, but uh -oh. can't afford the risk. Indeed. Um. Activating Daniel. Jogging up to over there. Enough to be within four so I can stay a bit back. Yep. Spending one picking up the stone and then spending four uh, declaring the end is nigh. I uh, will go with five yeah. cards. Take my six. Pink three. <laughs> go for it. I mean. If you want, you can call a bluff and uh, I, dev I have to remove him from play or suffer for wounds. But if it's not a bluff, then it's going to be, yeah. Then you're transporting Luba down Klaus. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I'm not calling a bluff. <laughs> Fair enough. So, yes, uh, this time around, it's going to be Luby Lubard. Is gonna interact with Freya. Hello. Hello there. And it's over to you if you have any reaction. In the meantime. Yeah, I'm just thinking about that. Yeah, in base contact. I'm probably better off keeping hold of the energy, actually. The inevitable onslaught. So, no, no reaction. Okay. And let's do Wasp coming to her aid. Four inch jog. One inch reaction step with Klaus. Am I within range? I think I might just be. 
I'll do that. No, so I'm going to do a step. Another step with the clouds. Mm -hmm. And he has four energy left. What do I want to do with it? I'm maybe going to kill really bad. So he will chuck a javelin at Klaus. Mm -hmm. Give me three cards. Gonna use the card that is in Gwendolyn's. And declare the green two. I'm going to say bluff to that. So there goes his protection. Mm -mm. Correct. Okay. Reset. Just join. Okay. Now. I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Activating clouds. Jogging up four. Any reaction? Okay, and stepping once. Over to you. Okay. But at this point, I don't think so that you have models left because that would be Diana. Yeah. So activating Lubart, um, spending three energies, declaring Writer's Fury. Mm -hmm. And then spending one. Attacking Freya. I uh, will go okay. with uh, five cards. Three by default, plus two for being the attacker, plus one for Rattus Fury, minus one for Wasp. Mm -hmm. And Freya will go with one less because there is Klaus engaging her. Yeah. We're sharing the same pain. So, shuffle, shuffle, uh -huh. five for me. And one for me. What have you got? A bit of everything. So I will go for it. Mm -hmm. I'll remember to do it this time. Take cards um we'll do this one sweeping cut for me yep uh activating my end step effect freya will lose two wounds two energies and suffer minus two melee until the end of turn. Okay. Resetting. Um, any reaction with Wasp? Um, I don't know if it's really worthwhile actually, because I think I can't block the line of sight from Klaus. Mm. So no, no reaction. Okay. I will then go again, five cards. Maybe I will go one. 
an arcane. Okay, well, I think I know what I'm going to do. Me too. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's laying and I suffered one damage in return because she's feeble. Okay. That me. You have two moonstones. Mm -hmm. well, she had two moonstones. Oh, it's going to be. Obviously, one and one, two there, then she can be removed from play. Uh, Kalista will get one energy. Any reaction after that? Mm, I don't think so. No. Okay. And I will go with uh, one last attack on Wasp. Uh, six okay. cards this time, and Wasp get one less. So I think it's going to be four. Yeah. Yeah. I'll spend a. Uh, on energy. I'll spend two. Yeah. What you got? A lot of guards. Six, seven, seven damages on the board. Do this one. Okay. Um, how do we do this actually? Um, or you just choose? Yeah, them and I still have. <laughs> I still have to choose mine. I'm thinking because against wasp is not that easy. If he's gonna play yeah. the eye guard, then he, I would expect he's gonna do so. He's gonna put me in a valley of pain, as he's gonna deal loads of damages. I cannot deal more than two wounds, but he's gonna gain one back. Uh, if he go, if I go for the raising attack, and you have a low guard, then you can do double the damage. Consider all of it. Possibly the trust is gonna be the best option. No, let's go for the raising attack for this last attack and see how much damage I'm gonna suffer. Okay. We did have the high guard. Yeah, that is gonna be five. I think you're gonna suffer one. Five on you. And I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna suffer on a low guard, you deal. Uh, no, on a raising attack, you deal one by default. Plus two for piercing is gonna be three. Minus one for weakling is gonna be two all day. Oh, it's plus two for piercing. Is it? Mm -mm. Okay. And uh, in return, you're gonna suffer two by default. Plus two for impact. Plus one uh, for the writer's fury. Minus one because you're gonna recover one wound at the end of the melee because you're still alive. Okay. And it's gonna be four wounds all day on uh, wasp. Okay. And that is gonna end the turn. Uh, I cannot take the reaction step with uh, Kalista. Yeah, I think it's probably game over actually, because even if Wasp can fend off these two, Reagan can pick up his Moonstone, and you've got you've got three to two. Uh, yes, I. On the other end, I wouldn't expect for Wasp to be able to deal with both Klaus and Lubart. No, no, no. 
I thought I'd go for. I wouldn't immediately concede because I thought I'd see how the relay started. <laughs> Didn't start brilliantly. Um... So I think coming back with him only having two energy going into the turn is it's, it's a non-starter. Mm -hmm. Idea is that uh, the way that you play uh, both Vespa and uh, Freya, it would be probably the best way to enjoy. Uh, the game as a fairy, the eat and run. What I think it could be that. Yeah, I guess I don't really, I didn't really enjoy it, really, because I didn't feel I got the value from the models. Mm. Uh, mm. And it, it it makes you super vulnerable to exactly what happens actually, because once you split your troop and you're just running for it, generally if you get caught up. You you screwed basically. <laughs> Do you think Gotchkat would be a better option rather than Gwendolyn or uh, any other of uh, the models that you played this evening? Who who did you say? Uh, Gotchkat, as a bodyguard for Diana, in order to keep her alive yeah. longer. Yeah, I just wanted to try out Gwendolyn, honestly. <laughs> And uh, I haven't played Wasp for a while, so I just wanted to try him out. I didn't imagine he'd be particularly good, actually, against the Lubard and, and Klaus. I mean, I think he's all right, but not not anywhere near their ability to deal damage. But I, I just wanted to try something a bit different. I think, I mean, to me, Wasp is uh, today the most uh, scary model that the Dominion does have when it comes down to melee, and possibly the best melee character in the world range until uh, Swash is gonna be out or available at least. Uh, the fact that uh, it doesn't uh, it does block any possible critical and uh, regenerate a, one wound on top of it it makes very hard to deal with him even more because he does have his signature on a Nygaard. So it's not as... Yeah, no, he's, he's, he is very good. He's very good. I think yeah, if I'd have if I'd have been going for like just uh all out trying to win, definitely Gosh Cut would have been a better choice. <laughs> I thought, no, let's try let's try these two, see how it plays with mm. and uh, but I don't think that then played hugely well with the strategy of running away. But it's actually I wasn't intending to do because I didn't think that I would be able to get those four moonstones quite so easily. Honestly, I thought there'd be more for the of a fight for the one around the pond. Ah, uh, no, no, no! Because um, I was scared as hell by Diana and the Wasp getting on my lines, so I was waiting for you to see what you planned to do. I, I mean, I at the beginning uh -huh. I thought that I I can possibly fight for that one, but then you had. Uh, uh, all your aviators, uh, Freya, Wasp, and Diana, all of them on the same line, close, uh, yeah, here on that side. For me, it, it was, uh, it would probably take too long to uh, maneuver all my models and try to cover uh, for the other two. So the plan at the beginning yeah. it was to go for Gwendoline if she was, uh, if she was the one that is gonna pick up the stone. Sadly for me, it was Vespa. And uh, on top of that, Vespa started to move away with Gwendoline. So you simply left me facing your uh, my worst, uh, uh, your your best models actually, and that's why I start to think it would be uh, an easy win for you. Mm. Well, luckily it worked out with the end is nine and all that. Yeah, but the, again, the whole build up to that. It, it was just the fact that I I've been uh, lucky enough to get uh, uh, a pink where I most need it when I most need it, because most of the time it doesn't happen, <laughs> and so Freya would be out of the table, and you you will be uh, you would have easily won the game without even have to fight in melee apart for Diana. But yeah. that is going to be collateral yeah. damage. Well, that was the idea, but nothing's ever certain, I guess. And um, what was I going to say? Um, forget now. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just thinking, um, Vesper, whether I actually needed to run her off the board because she has that out of out of touch, um, out of reach, out of reach. 
which actually would have made her immune to the Lubard and Klaus. I mean, the risk would have been if you had the the first, te- you know, the first activation, and you could kind of come and get her before she does that. But I could have kept her a bit more in it, and maybe used the javelin to get off the protection. And you know, there were possibilities there, but maybe I kind of wasted. But when you've got a model with two moonstones, you get super cautious. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, uh, was the moonstone on top of the cliff uh, a deepness three? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Because. Uh, Why do you ask? Yeah, because I was thinking that possibly having um, Gwendolyn taking uh, the first turn, reducing down to a two with two energies, and start moving uh, Vespa up the board in order to cover herself, it would possibly be um, an easier way to deal with my models once uh, even Lubard would get to Diana you still have uh, another shooter and another melee fighter in the fray and uh, Gwendolyn in the back uh, gathering the stones and running away on on her own yeah that may have been better I think the reason I did Vesper was obviously that I could then use Gwendolyn to lure her back towards things um And yeah, and I kind of changed my plan midway that actually I had Vesper pick up both Moonstones. And, and then once she had both Moonstones, I thought, no, it's actually nonsense to try and bring Vesper towards your characters. So I didn't really have a thoroughly thought out battle plan this time, I think. But it was still fun to play around with this model. I mean, yeah, um, to, for me, it's still a learning process because uh, I don't play that often against fairies. And I still think that against uh, this list that I'm playing in today, they are possibly the worst uh, matchup that I can have. Uh, only possi- well, the, the Diana thing was draining the energy off you. Is, yes. Is, is ter- I mean, with Lubard, he lost those three energy, and suddenly he, well, he still managed to kill Diana, I think, didn't he? But <laughs> it's not entirely useless. Yeah, but I mean, uh, starting uh, with a model with four energies and having it reduced down to one is a lot. Even because I spent uh, oh, yeah. one activation and uh, my free energy, my free energy, let's call it this way, on the same model, just yeah. to make sure. Okay, he's gonna have enough energies. Nope, you will not. <laughs> yeah, well, you killed her. Uh, take some consolation from that. Yeah. Is, is yeah, I will I will think about that because, as you mentioned, uh, possibly Gotchkat would that make a difference, and uh, Vespa would still be able to pick up the stones and slowly slowly getting away, and having the the giant in the middle there would made uh, possibly an, an a, a more difficult game, a more uphill game. But yes, in the end, I think. I mean, the last few times. I've used Gut Gotch Cut with Diana. Mm. He's not ended up using his modigard ability. But I mean that may be because you just didn't even bother trying to get Diana because of it. Yeah. But, I mean But it didn't make a huge difference in, in that other way. You know for sure that Diana is uh, almost uh, invincible having uh Gotch Cut around. Simply because I cannot target her, I cannot attack her, or even if I do so, you're gonna transfer the damage on him. Is pointless for me to spend an activation yeah. or possibly more than one trying killing her when uh, I know that I will have to kill uh, 20 wounds of model if I remember well because Gotchkat <laughs> is uh, 14 wounds and Diana is a uh, six wounds. So, yeah. so it's gonna be a tough one and even more because uh, Gotchkat being within four from Diana is possibly not that far from charging me back and possibly kill me ahead of times. So. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, I will, I'll will give you a break from, from Diana next week. I'll have a think about a Commonwealth list. Um, I mean, it's fine to me. Anyway, I'm going to probably ask myself to carry on with Diana simply because I want to have uh, as much experience as I can. But um, if you're planning bringing the Commonwealth, uh, I would probably go again with the phones. 
uh, if it's okay mm -hmm. with you. I mean, uh, if you think uh, going on with a soldier list for the Commonwealth or anything around the humans or gnomes, I would probably go with the phone says the only other uh, mm, faction that I play a little bit along with the cultist and uh, the Commonwealth itself. Or I can put no, maybe I can I can come up with the goblins just to make up for today and bringing uh, my on my side something that is gonna be experimental at the very least. <laughs> so we well, I'll have a think. I'll let you know if I come up with anything interesting. Same here. Cool. Well, until next time, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And catch up soon. Bye -bye. Yeah. Yeah. Cool.